everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic and the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how you can uh, create a user interface for your Ionic app that's more flexible for uh, mobile devices, for tablets, and even for desktop browsers uh, or uh, applications, however you want. Uh, we will build this um, starting from a blank template for all platforms. So first of all, we need some more pages so inside your project, go ahead and run the generate command for a new page. And we create just a news page and perhaps a profile page. Um, you can pick, of course, whatever you want, but I will just use those two. Okay. Um, so by now we just have this uh, UI and we can also open it in full screen so we can uh, better change it. And these changes came in with the latest, I think, 3.5 update. Uh, looks very cool. So uh, make sure your CLI is up to date. Then we can go ahead and go to our current uh, home page, which is the first page displayed here, and change all of this to something called split pane. So uh, this was inside some of the Ionic news and it's also in the documentation, but it's a bit hidden and it's actually super cool and super easy to use. Um, what it does is create um, a UI that's different for mobile and uh, bigger devices. So inside our split pane, we need a menu and we need to set the content of the menu, which we will do later. And then we have to craft our menu. Okay, actually I could have kept what we had before. So Ion Toolbar and Ion Title Menu. Okay, and after the header, we got the Ion Content. And inside the content, a simple list of just two items in our case. So button Ion Item. Uh, and on click, we will call the open function and it will either open the news page or another one. And we also add menu close here. So the menu will automatically be closed once a user clicks this button. And the second button should open the profile page and this would be profile. Okay, so this is our menu inside the split pane. Now we also need our navigation and we can wrap this in a simple ion nav. We have to set the root page, which we will do from our class. And we have to say, this is our main view. This is the content of the menu. And now we're good here. Now go to your home TS and define what the root page should be in the beginning. Um, let's just say it's news page. And also we need the open function, which will get a page name. And then we call this dot root is now page name. All right. So let's see. Um, you can already see that we got a menu right here we can switch from profile to news. And when we make our view uh, this small, so below a certain point, the menu will completely disappear. And now we can add actually a button to our news and also to the homes, uh, to the profile page inside our navbar, which says button, ion, button and just menu toggle. That's all we need here. And inside you can put an icon. The classic one is the menu icon, which is the burger, like it or not. Uh, let's add it here and to the news as well. And now we will see a few changes. So on bigger screens, we still don't have this button, but once the menu actually disappears, we get the button with a site menu now. So you can imagine, um, you can create your app now for, uh, let's say iPhone or phone device, and you will have this classic interface with a site menu, which you can bring in from here. 
If you now also perhaps want it for tablets or phablet devices, perhaps phablets still would have this button, but finally for tablets, um, the UI might look more like this and the user will see the menu all the time. And also if you plan to deploy your Ionic app to web or perhaps to an Electron container for a desktop, um, you would perhaps have the full screen size and then the menu would always be visible. Of course, you could change things. You can remove this uh, somehow crazy bar. Um, you can change the CSS for everything. You could make it a bit smaller uh, and all kinds of things. But the point is we automatically now get um, this behavior through the split pane. And also uh, you could even set the breakpoints. So when this switch happens, uh, based on the device width or based on a function even. So this makes it really uh, useful to use the split pane if you plan uh, to build your app for multiple devices. Now additionally I want to cover something else in this uh, video which is the grid layout. Um, you might know it already but uh, let's make a short example. So inside the news page we add an array of items nothing special so we got a title and we got some text just uh, pure dummy stuff here but let's go to our news HTML and use the ion grid so you might know that you can use the ion grid and then you got rows and then you got columns right and you got in every row 12 columns and they can um, share the space or take up a specific part of the space and distribute it. Um, all 12 is the magic number, remember this. So you might have cards in here with ion card header. Um, okay, perhaps we should add the ng4 loop, let item of news items. And now for our header, we can use item.title and for the content, we use item. Uh, I think text, not description. Okay, let's see. Um, where is it actually? Uh, sometimes my reload is not working as expected. Ah, okay, there we got it. So, um, oh, actually, the behavior is already pretty good through the um, through the split pane. I see. Oh, okay. Ah, so I guess the ion card has some internal stuff, but this still uh, uh, looks not perfect. I think. So what you can do now is at uh, definition to our column how it should behave on different uh, sizes. So normally every column um, on the smallest possible device should take the full amount. So a column should have uh, or should cover 12 units. So you can just have one column in one row. But if this devices uh, get bigger Perhaps you want a column to just cover six, so you can have two next to each other. And then you can also change it for larger devices to have uh, to kayak four, which means you can have three cards next to each other. So three times four, or perhaps at the biggest screen ratio, uh, you want even four elements next to each other. Um, apparently this looked already pretty good before so I guess the changes are not that big but you see uh, at the lowest level we take the complete width then it snaps and we take uh, half so each column block is now six we make it a bit bigger uh, okay the, uh, the menu appears so this area gets a bit uh, smaller again but then we go back and we got the four. Uh, this still doesn't look that good, but okay. This is actually saved. 
because sometimes let's see ah, okay now it's saved so now we are one two next to each other three next to each other and at the um, biggest break point we break so each column just takes three units three six nine twelve and the place is filled so by using the split pane and the grid layout with breakpoints for different device sizes we can make our user interface within our ionic app really flexible so it looks good if you have a very small device if you have a medium tablet or even if you just have a desktop browser or uh, electron app or whatever it might be so keep this in mind that you can actively change the behavior of your ionic app on different platforms um, so it always looks the best i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and also check out the ionicacademy.com for ionic training step-by-step uh, -step videos projects and an awesome community i hope to see you inside the next video have a great day and take care